I'd like to show you how to modify values in a table in QGIS, but only for a subset of records at a time. So I have forest stand data here, and as often is the case with data sets that I receive or develop, they don't have all the information. So this is a Minnesota cover type, and what I'd like to do is add a type name. Now I've got a column here to collect the type name, but it's going to depend on the cover type. So for example, the cover type one or ash and 12 or aspen and 13 or birch. And I would like to have a type name. Well, how do I do that without typing them in repeatedly? I can select and then assign based on the selected features only. And I'll show you how to do that here. So the first thing we have to do is filter the values. So if I click here, I get this filter menu or drop down and I can look basically at the column preview for types. And so I have all these types listed here for the records in sequence. I can then on these fields use them. So I want to find all those with the type is equal to one. And if I select features, you can see the ash are selected. I can then go to the modify field tool and update an existing field and select the field I want to modify type name. Now if I want to only update the selected features, I have to make sure that I'm checked up here. And then I can enter ash in the expression. Now notice I use single quotes and not double quotes. I need single quotes for values. And I say okay and it assigns them. And if I go back and look then, I now have ash assigned, but only to those selected features. If I want to do the Aspen then, I can left click here. I can get the Minnesota type equal to 12, because remember that's the value for Aspen for the min C type. And I select the features and you see it selects the Aspen features. I go back then to my abacus, my assign tool, I want to update the existing field. Again, remember making sure I'm only updating the selected features. And I give them then the Aspen name here in the expression window. Oops, I want to make sure I use the single quotes again. So then I say OK, and it assigns the Aspen values. So I can deselect the selected features here anytime. And I'm going back then from this filter view to the table view, and I can see, oh yeah, now all the 12s are Aspen. And then I can do the same thing for all the remaining types to get my types assigned. So you can use this to quickly add values that correspond to another uh, value in a different column. So here I'm at a column with type name that I might want to label with or use in creating additional tables or summarized by because not everyone has the type numbers memorized. Often you'll want to do this sort of thing, uh, select a subset and assign different values depending upon the subset. So here you have it.